I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to quick roast a bell pepper. So really simple, all you need is your bell pepper that you're going to roast, a plastic bag that it will fit into, some tongs, and then um, you'll need your burner. Now for this you would need a gas burner, um, or you could do this over like an open flame. So if you chose to use your fireplace or like a campfire, you could just get wild with this. This is like the vegetable version of like s'mores but you know, not as sweet because you know, it's vegetable. So what we're gonna do is start by just turning on um, our burner here and we're gonna put it on high and we're just literally going to place this on top because we want it to get um, nice and charred just like we would like under a broiler, okay? So just place it on top and we're just gonna watch it and we're gonna use our tongs to turn it. So as soon as it starts to get black and charred, we're gonna give it a flip. So let's just check it out. Starting to get black on that one side. Let's just let it hang out for a little longer. We're starting to get the little, little itty bitty black things, but we want this baby charred. Like, I mean like all the way around black. And you want it to kind of like bubble up and get wrinkly because we're, we're gonna peel the skin off. Whenever you have roasted like red peppers, the skin has been peeled off. You know how they're just like super silky and soft? Skin gone, so. Okay, we still have a ways to go on this guy. So see how it's becoming black here? We need that happening all around, and I need it to be like, it's not nearly enough, like it's not like bubbly enough. I need it to get bubbly, so. You wanna like char this baby. Okay, so we're gonna let it char, keep on turning and we'll come back. So it's been about like six minutes and we're all done. Let's just turn this off, as you can see, charred all the way around. Now what we're gonna do is pop it into this plastic bag to steam it a little bit, and that's gonna help loosen the skin from the bell pepper. So pop that guy in there, close it on up, and we're just gonna let it steam for about two minutes, and then we're gonna peel it by just like pulling the peel off. So we're gonna let it steam and cool, and we'll come right back. Okay. So the bell pepper has been cooling and steaming simultaneously um, in this little bag, so now I can like touch it without burning my little fingers. And we are gonna open it up now, and we are gonna pop it into this bowl of cold water, and this is actually how we are going to peel it. You could also do this under a faucet, um, but I'm going to just do it in a bowl to show you. So just pop it on in, put your plastic bag to the side, and we're gonna get messy, guys. Put your fingers in here, and you're just gonna just kind of like, do you see I'm just like moving it away with my thumbs? Like slowly brushing it away. Brush, brush, brush away the char. And underneath the char is that beautiful roasted pepper. So we're just gonna keep at this until all the little black bits are gone. And then we're gonna take it out of the bowl and deseed it. Okay, so I've rinsed it all off. It's all beautifully peeled, but we're not done yet, guys, because it's still whole, right? And we can't eat it whole because there are seeds in there. There are seeds in them, there are peppers. So let's just wipe this off with a paper towel. Get it nice and dry. Okay, super duper. And we are going to start by just cutting off the bottom. Get that away and cut the top off. Beautiful. Now we have a few seeds in the middle, so I'm just gonna Sneak these over. Now it's all wet because you've been dealing with water, so just move your paper towel, just clean off your workspace, do some wipes. And I'm just gonna slice it open, just so I can wipe all of these seeds out. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now it's ready to be chopped or sliced or however you best love to enjoy your roasted bell pepper. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.